Good morning, Playa del Coco and Ocotal. Here we are at Nino del Sol Eco School for our new live tour. Let me turn this camera around and start walking you guys through here. Here we have our campus. This is our backyard, our playground, if you will. And we have done some updating to this since our last tour with you all. So at the beginning of the year, we changed this larger cow house into half its size, and we now have a theater and campfire pit here. Last year, we had a massive tree, a Wanacaste, fall on, on campus and on the house. And so we've chopped that up, and we've also used that wood in different locations here in these benches here and lots of other spots. But a new addition, this happened back in May, is we are taking care of the neighbor's yard and using this space as extra recess area. And back there, we have really beautiful forests with lots of uh, volunteer plants, chilies, papayas, oak trees, flowers, lots of stuff is growing back here that we're really excited to be able to use in our garden um, and create maybe a little hiking path back there. Following back this way, we're gonna walk up past our little bodega here. And here we have the beginnings of our garden and a natural banana fence line. Look at all these bananas that we've been transplanting with our, our students here. There's a little baby one starting there. These ones were about a month old. And this one's about three months old and it's just been taken off. But here is truly our pride and glory of our garden this year. Teacher Jose Luis has been doing some amazing work with the students. Look at these beautiful cherry tomatoes. These are gonna be ripe in a couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, just delicious. This is oregano down here. Over there we have some basil. We have bell peppers growing. Look at those yummy bell peppers, more basil. Another variety of tomatoes. They're starting to get ripe. Lots of basil. Look at this basil over here. It's flowering. So we're going to be able to have some seeds sell at the market next Wednesday. Excuse me, this Wednesday. This Wednesday we have another sale market. That's tomorrow. My goodness, August sure has flown by fast. We will have lots of these plants for sale at our market tomorrow. Here we have some chili peppers that we garnished from our neighboring yard. Here we have pumpkins and I think, I think that is, that's not spinach. We have spinach over here. Here are our showers. So twice a week we take each class. There's our spinach. Happy spinach next to some happy tomatoes. But each week we take our, each class, our kinder class twice a week and our elementary class twice a week to the ocean. Hi, Holly. I think I saw you drive by. Um, here we have our showers. So when the kids get back from the ocean, they can shower off and all of the water that they use goes into that drain and drains into some student made piping that goes underneath the ground here, and that's what's making our bananas over here so happy and healthy. We've got quite a few bananas growing, so it's very exciting. All of the fruits that we are gathering here. Over here, we have our outdoor classroom with a couple of works that were put on pause. Students are learning about the national bird right now in kinder class and so they're making eggs look at these little eggs it's a variety of robin is the national bird and that's kind of what their eggs look like it's about the same size too and over here they've made their nests and that ties into social studies but obviously a direct connection to Costa Rican ecology over here, students are learning how to start plants. So we can take a cutting from a tomato, stick it in some dirt, and keep water on it. 
and that'll turn into a large adult tomato like the one we have there in a matter of six weeks or so. Here we have these beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh. I don't know the name of this flower, but you should really check this out. So those, these ones here, they're beautiful. Beautiful little starts. Look at these flowers. Oh, isn't that cool? Look at these. Look at this. This is seven feet tall. Look at that flower. Oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Here we had corn. I say had because we have one left. Um, Mr. Rocky lets his cows walk around our neighborhood and this weekend I left the gate open. One early morning they snuck in and got at the corn. Happy breakfast for them, not so happy for the kids who were so excited about having corn for snack one of these days. This is what you're looking at behind the corn is our compost. We composted the students. We composted pounds on pounds of food waste, but also all of our yard waste goes in here. Hi, Zoe. And here we are creating soil. So soil, believe it or not, is actually alive and it's consisted of three Look at look at the centipedes. Can you see them? Oh, we love them. Centipedes, pill bugs, ants. Those are all insects, but we call it the FBI. Anybody know what the F and the B stand for? Well, if you guessed fungus and bacteria, you are correct. Fungus, bacteria, and insects are the workers of compost. Healthy compost stays around 80 degrees, 70 to 80 degrees. If you get up into the 90s, you have a really fast working compost, and that is definitely the case for here in Costa Rica. We can turn food waste, at least, into soil in a matter of three weeks or so. We have a really healthy compost. All of this is turning into rich soil. This that I'm holding right here, this is more of a top layer. If we get down a little bit deeper, that rich soil here makes plants super happy. But it looked like this stuff. There's some compostable plates in there, leaves, food, there's a watermelon rind. That'll all be composted in a matter of weeks because of the temperature, the amount of water that we keep on this. You don't want it to be sopping wet, but you also don't want it to be dry. You also turn this with the kids and a little extra after and before school to make sure that the air stays inside the compost. Just a little bit of work doing that. There's a bit of plastic. We don't want plastic in there. Um, but a little bit of work and you have excellent soil to produce a garden and garden beds that, that give you organic food that's gonna make you healthier and, and happier. And then the food waste that you have from these tomatoes, they go straight back into there and we have this cyclical system of producing food, producing soil, producing food, producing soil, and we are just keeping the environment so happy with all of that. This is oregano, oh my gosh, this oregano, if you smell it, oh, it smells fantastic. This is Italian oregano. Smells like pistillo. Shout out to my pistillo friends over by Yoga with Miranda. If you haven't been there, it's delicious. They have 